UCF in their opportunity to make a statement, they made a statement. 28 points in the first quarter. They came out with an attitude, uh, put the game away, which is what they needed to do. You know, that finally they got one of the big boys to come down to Orlando. And I'll be honest, if they want more teams to come to Orlando, they should probably be a little nicer than they were to Stanford. <laughs> it, was, the it was deep ball after deep ball after deep ball. And I was like, who is watching this game and think to themselves, I'll go down there to play UCF in Orlando. Hey, do you know, do you know where uh, Gabriel played high school football, Joey? Was he down in Hawaii? In Ho Is that Hawaii. Like, what? Y'all, everybody <laughs> needs to go to Hawaii from now on to find quarterback. I tell you what, yeah. UCF, when you look at their roster this year, we looked at them and we were like, they got speed everywhere. They do. They've had speed for years. But then you got Mack that breaks his ankle, and last year we know what happened to McKenzie Milton. You're like, all right, Wimbush is going to be okay. Now they got this freshman. I don't know where – coming from, obviously, from Hawaii. If he plays like that, good Lord, this offense and this team can do some serious damage. All right, so how much damage can they do, right? If you're saying, hey, I, I'm not sold, Davey, that, that this Florida team, who could be one and two right now, they're still ranked in that top ten. Is UCF – getting to all of a sudden people are starting to pay attention where they could make a push towards a college football playoff if everything goes according to plan. No, they're not going to make a push. To, they're not going to make a push in the college football playoff. I got news for you. I, I know spoiler, and I know Herbie came on there and talked about how he's starting to buy UCF. That, that ain't enough. That ain't enough to get them into the college football playoff. As long as we have four, I don't know that UCF is going to be really invited to the dance, Joey. I just don't, I don't see it happening. It's difficult, but if I'm UCF, uh, much like last week and trying to make a, a statement against a Stanford team, they have Pitt this week. Pitt just played Penn State. I believe it was a seven-point game. And so if I'm UCF, I'm going in there to absolutely try to pound Pitt so that I can say, hey, look, we played the same team that Penn State played, one of the better teams in the Big Ten. They played them in a close game, understand it was raining, it was sloppy, they got delayed, but still – if UCF wants a chance to put some, some points on the board uh, besides just their schedule, then they have to blow teams out like they did against Stanford. Uh, they'll have a chance to make that statement uh, against a Pitt team this week. They got Temple later on and just beat Maryland. And so those yep. are the kind of connections that UCF is going to have to make, putting people away and doing it early and saying, look, we're dominating these teams that beat some of the Power Five teams in the bigger conferences. And the good well, news I, is, Peter, Peter, the good news is, by the way, it doesn't really matter. All they got to do is run the table and they can claim themselves national champions and they're national champions too out of the last three years. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.